Good evening, I'm Kathleen Bade. We start tonight with President Biden, who is in San Diego right now, where he also announced an historical partnership with Australia and the UK. Fox 5's Kasia Gorchik is live in Del Mar for us tonight to show us the busy schedule Biden is knocking out right now. Good evening, Kathleen. Well, we are across the street from San Diego Surf Sports Park here in Del Mar. We're making a strong, educated guess that this is where the president will be landing any moment now. The White House did say he would be landing in Del Mar shortly before 6 o'clock. And I can show you around and let you see what we're seeing, which is the sheriff's department uh, blocking off the entrance to the surf sports park. Uh, we have the uh, military helicopters in the air. Moments before, we also saw a police helicopter circling the area. We are across the street from the sports complex, and we actually had Secret Service come over across the street and search our vehicle to even allow us to be this close. So again, we're uh, pretty certain this is where the president is landing. That's what we believe we're taking a look at right now, uh, departing from downtown San Diego, landing here in Del Mar. We're told uh, that he will be heading shortly from here to a Democratic committee uh, sort of fundraiser or engagement in Rancho Santa Fe this evening. We haven't been able to confirm exactly where, but that is what is going on. So it's been a very full day for the president, as presidential visits usually are. We know that President Biden landed earlier today at Naval Air Station North Island in Coronado shortly after noon. He was accompanied by his daughter Ashley and granddaughter Natalie. Uh, the primary purpose for today's visit was a meeting with the British and Australian prime ministers to discuss the country's partnership and defense issues. That meeting and remarks about the meeting took up most of the afternoon. The next stop is a reception for the Democratic National Committee. Again, we mentioned the White House tells us that it's happening somewhere in Rancho Santa Fe. As of right now, the location is a bit of a mystery, but driving around the area this afternoon, we did see a large demonstration taking place near the Del Mar Country Club. That demonstration was a couple dozen people calling for democracy in Iran. So again, we're not sure if that is where the reception is taking place, but people may believe that the Del Mar Country Club is where it's taking place, or they're certainly hoping the president's motorcade will at least drive by to get their message across. So back out here live again, we're across the street from the San Diego Surf Sports Park at the old polo fields here in the Del Mar area. The president, uh, we're believing right now, has just landed the three aircrafts there out on the fields, a large space. Uh, we're obviously a ways back, but driving around the area earlier today, we had a good feeling this is where it would be just due to the large law enforcement presence from where I'm standing. I can also see several ambulances and fire trucks closer to the fields, just ensuring that the area was secure and safe for the president to land. And we're told that that reception for the Democratic National Committee is going to happen around 645. It will be the president's last engagement of the evening. And tomorrow he is set to travel to Monterey Park, where he's going to discuss his efforts to reduce gun violence. So I'm going to step step on in here. Um, again, we just watched the president land here live on air. Oh, this is him landing, I believe. So many aircrafts, Kathleen. It's hard to, hard to nail down which one is certainly the president. But we did see those three land prior uh, and the helicopter now about to touch down. We are watching the president of the United States, Joe Biden, getting ready to land on the polo fields or turned into, you could say, for Marine One or Air Force One, considering the president is on board, landing here in Del Mar. Our Kasia Gorgorczyk is on the ground as well as our photographers following his visit throughout the day. We're gonna stay on top of his visit and I assume stay with these live pictures and see the president disembark as he just took a quick trip from Naval Base San Diego a short time ago, making his rounds, uh, speaking with the Prime Ministers of the United Kingdom, as well as Australia earlier today, announcing uh, an announcement, quite frankly, a deal between 
all three countries an alliance really involving nuclear submarines I'll go into in more detail momentarily. Uh, and then he's going to, as Kasha reported moments ago, he's going to meet with the Democratic National Committee here. Uh, the president hasn't formally or officially said he's going to run again in 2024, but certainly there's a lot of uh, candidates who are vying for elected offices here in San Diego, in Southern California, that he may be meeting up with as well. And there's always an entourage that leaves and travels with the president. And our camera's trying to capture it. The president himself has stepped off board there just yet. This is Del Mar. If you're just joining us, uh, President Biden visiting San Diego. Uh, this could be him. Uh, we're not really sure, but it looked like it had the presidential seal on the last uh, helicopter, but we could be wrong. As uh, Kasia Gorgorczyk on the ground was just reporting, there are certainly a lot of aircraft, as there are if you're going to be uh, following the president as he's on the ground traveling anywhere. It usually snarls traffic. They decided to go airborne for this West Coast swing, and we've been seeing him now making his way to Del Mar, where he plans to be meeting with members of the Democratic National Committee, we're told. The first lady in San Diego and, and our Kasia Gorgorczyk, also a reporter on the ground who covered her visit just uh, last month, President Biden making his first trip to San Diego in November. So this is his second trip since becoming commander in chief. And again, you're watching these live pictures as we're waiting to see if the president is indeed on board this particular aircraft. Air Force One landing in Coronado earlier today, always a sight to behold when it comes in, landing at Naval Base San Diego. As I mentioned, having a meeting earlier with prime ministers of Australia and the UK. And Kathleen, if you can hear me, we're just doing our best out here live in Del Mar to get you the best picture that we can. We are so far away, but of course the camera has better capabilities than we do. So you may very well be able to see uh, much better than I can what exactly is going on if the president is disembarking. Um, what I can tell you is from as far away as we are, we can see um, the president's motorcade likely rolling up to those aircrafts, uh, several SUVs in a line, as well as likely the press pool van um, that long long white van that's kind of behind the SUVs um, kind of circling around. So we're assuming the president is getting ready to disembark if he hasn't already any moment now uh, before heading somewhere to Rancho Santa Fe. And Kasha, yes, it's always a spectacle. How does this compare out of curiosity? You traveled with Dr. Jill Biden, the first lady of the United States. I was mentioning just a month ago. How does this entourage, so to speak, or motorcade compare? This one certainly seems um, a larger scale. You know, I'm sure that that it's uh, just as big of a security detail for the first lady, but the president certainly adds an extra layer of that security. As I mentioned earlier, we're across the street from the surf sports park and a ways away from where the president landed and even just trying to park here to get a view and get a video of, of the president landing. Uh, we were kind of um, approached by Secret Service and law enforcement and they actually asked to search our vehicle, all of our belongings to even allow us to stay where we are here. So, of course, uh, a great attention to detail and security anytime it involves the leader of our country here locally in San Diego. Uh, you can see quite a bit of vehicles down there on the field, likely more than I remember just last month with Dr. Jill Biden. And certainly just even driving around town, you could see um, quite a bit of Secret Service and police presence in the area um, prior to the landing. So we'll send All it right. back to you, Kathleen. All right. Thank you so much, Arkasha Gorgorczyk, reporting on the ground for us live. And as we mentioned, we're going to continue to follow uh, exactly uh, what the president does throughout his visit here in San Diego.